Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today, a treat especial. We answer the age-old question, what's confuddled mechanical mystics for generations? Six point or 12? Granted, the 12 point is obviously better. 12 is more than six. That's just science. <laughs> but I don't actually know. And a fella down in the comments asked me to do this. I thought to myself, well, my upload button's the same as yours. Why don't you do it? But getting back to Aristotle, teachers' jobs aren't to fill, your, fill the vessel full of seeds. It's to stoke a fire. I think teachers a lot of times get that beat out of them, especially now with more and more online teachery happening. There's less and less inspiration of teaching. You remember a great teacher from school? Was it the one that filled your head full of the most factoids? No, it was the one what inspired you to actually go out and try something on your own. You know, we're all born with the innate gift of bumblefuckery. Somehow, somewhere, it gets beat out of us. I'd change the bolt to a smaller size, 5 16 24 millimeter. Same, same, only different. I don't know how the fuck that works, but I got some spare parts, I think. Hmm. Tappy, tap, tap. Never the right tool for the job, but always time to do it right the second time. I kind of fabric cobble on something up. This is for a three carter bolt. I got five eighths mine, 15 sixteenths across flat, 24 for you continental types. I got to change a few things around, fabric cobble this, that, the other thing. Holy shit, <laughs> not even close. Nobody saw nothing. Allow me to just do the walk of shame. No. This is a Skidmore Wilhelm torque tester for testing impact guns and fasteners on big jobs and so forth. I got this at the government auction for a song. Money come out of the beer fund, so I didn't need to talk to the budget troll at all. But baby, sugar, honey, darling, think of the money we're making on empties. Now what this is, is a hydraulic cylinder. You put your bolt through and then you clamp it down. That squeezes the hydraulic fluid, comes up on the gauge, tells you how hard it's squeezing. So you know if your impact gun is suitable for the task or if your bolt is suitable for the task. It's just a kind of confirmation. That ought to, that ought to do. We'll get an enter pack cylinder on there. And then push till we can't push no more. I haven't even got into the meat of her, more in the flowers and red wine stage, and you can already see why 12 point is vastly superior to the six point and why it's far easier to purchase their ubiquitous 12 point, the six point, a little bit more specialty. I have a harder time finding them because you don't get nearly as many bites. See that? So that's not going to work for us at that hangulation. It doesn't work for us at that hangulation. Whereas the 12 point, you got half as many again as bites. It's just easier. You see that? Perfect. By the Jesus. You're getting too old for all this industrial stuff. <sighs> Product placement being what it is. <laughs> so what we're using is an Enterpack pump. It's a hydraulic pump manual. And it's got the quick couplers here, just with a check ball, a check ball in there. You seat the two check balls together and it opens it up. These invariably get right full of schmoo and it fucks the seals up and so forth. But for the four times a year you got to use it. 
well worth the price of admission. Why use an Enerpack cylinder and not a bottle jack? Well, much like the, our fearful leader, thrust and turd hoe, this works in any orientation. So that's how that's going to work. It occurs to me, I might as well tighten this by hand before I get to work in the hydraulics. Back about a quarter of a millennial ago, I set to working in the Yukon. I had the summer off from schooling, not knowing my ass from my elbow, nor whether it was bored, reamed, or punched. I was gonna be a gold miner on the summer off. And for some reason, I must have hit the foreman in the right spot, or he needed a grade staker, somebody who had taken some surveying. So I grade staked in the summer, my 18th birthday, up in the Yukon in a gold mine. It used to be, well, before the clipboard warriors get into any mine, it's the fun time because it's the fucking wild west. You just, you just get her done, partner. And that was fantastic, glorious, and money. Boy, how do you just work as much as you wanted. Every breakfast, a banquet, every paycheck, a fortune. I work a couple extra hours in the evening on the crusher when the crusher was down and uh, help you know just kind of nip around and do this and that while well, the foreman one day we had to tighten the bolts every night on the cone crusher they'd loosen off uh, i think that was an old norenberg nor norberg anyway he passes me two two inch wrenches to tighten these things and i pass one back to him and i says uh there's only there's no nut on this i only need the one wrench and he grabs them both <laughs> puts them like this and it tells me to get back to work so this is a little trick here this is called double wrenching that's how you get things german tight like a german virgin good and tight word to the wise for the maxillofacial surgeons in the crowd this is also how you get summer teeth some are here some are there <laughs> Let's move away from the danger zone a little bit. I think we're bottomed out on the Either we're bottomed out on the hydraulic mechanism of the Skidmore Wilhelm, or the bolt is yielding plastically. It's, we're at its yield point, and now it's just stretching until it breaks. Oh no. And then these are hard to assemble when they're under pressure. Probably not the safest thing to do. I don't see Prudence, the safety goat, in her open hoof shoes. I must be in the coffee room having a piece of birthday cake. It's just, it's like it just doesn't fucking end. We got ourselves a typical Snatch 23 situation. Don't know whether to shit or wind my watch. Luckily, I am a man who takes britches security serious. Belt and suspenders. I got two pumps, so I don't have to take that pump off and blast. You know, it's just not, not the best. But <laughs> what happens in the sanctity of my marital bedroom is my own affair. Like I tell the wife, it's quite frequent that I'm shy just the one for a 69. Here in the frozen shithole of Hoth, I'll gladly take a 68. That's when you Trudeau owe me and I'll owe you one.
Oh my god, this what a pain in my ass. Like they say in French. Throw the horse over the fence some hay. Even with the 12 point. It just. Yeah, I guess. Uh, well, what, what do we do nowadays when something doesn't work? Throw your hands up, give up, and go play a video game. So thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice. I had to sit in a stank about this in my office. The old adage come up, give me a lever long enough and a place to stand and I will move the earth. Of course, the odd verse of that is true. Give me a hole in the earth upon which to sit and I will lever out this nugget. Instead of turning the wrench, we're going to turn the bolt. <coughs> my cocked a little do to do. You ain't got the tool, you can't buy a tool for to do the job. You gotta make the tool for to do the job. Behold, a Cockford Ollie, model 69. Torque Structomatic. She's a beaut, Clark. Ah, my first love. Hey, babushka, no hard feelings. It's only because she's younger and prettier. Faster, too. We gotta make a hang dang. I snagged a crop of 4140. We're gonna thread that 5 eighths. That way we'll put the bolt in and twist her right off. Clean it, too. Went in there with a maintenance tap, plug tap. We're gonna get as many treads as we can. I got a bottoming tap now. Bottoming tap just has less of a taper on the bottom, so it makes the threads pretty much all the way to the bottom of the blind hole. We'll watch that gauge, see where it slips. Get three clicks of the ratchet out of her.
I don't know about you, but my spider sense has been tingling so long it fucked clean off. What we're doing is we're yielding the bolt. So the head of the bolt is just going to come flying off of there, clang and so forth. We're going to cut it there. We can see exactly what's happening. I just wanted to confirm this is still turning. This isn't turning. We're yielding the bolt. The six point has not slipped. The weak, you're always going to find the bottleneck. And by strengthening one component, you just find the next weakest component. The next weakest component is the bolt, not the six point. So we'll go ahead and replace this bolt and use the 12 point. I had a Proto 15 16 in 12 point, but I must have got up and walked out the gate in somebody's tool bag. Sleazy come, sleazy go. Instead, favorite wrench in the whole world, the Fap Off, old school, made in Canada derp. You can't even, yeah, you can't even dream about something like that nowadays. It would appear to my trained eye, that's the same, same, only different. We're yielding that bolt. Look at the pressure come up. We're far past the torque that that bolt will yield. It's gone past its maximum strength and now it's just weakening as the cross-sectional area diminishes. That is the bolt stretches out. Look at the wow to that wrench. And that's an old school wrench too. Not one of these fancy spline drive side hill gouger styles. Yeah, we're just yielding that. There you have it. To devolve into technicalities, the heat of the meat is directly proportional to the mass of the ass and the angle of the dangle. Ergo, makes no fucking never mind at all whether it's 12 point or 6 point on account of you're not gonna slip on the box end, what you're going to do is split the fastener clean half in two. You're going to go to the next weakest bottleneck, and the next weakest bottleneck is the fastener itself. So, all things being equal, would you rather have 30 degrees of swing in the difference, or 15 degrees of swing in the difference? Well, that is why just about every box end wrench out there is 12 point, because it's not going to slip. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice.